Hey everybody, so I'm in Shenzhen, southern China right now. This is the land of gadgets. This is where all the cool hardware are made. And right now, currently, I'm testing a pair of these. These are the Mutrix sunglasses. They look pretty nifty, right? So these are no ordinary sunglasses though. They are, in fact, they're audio sunglasses. So there are two speaker grills here that pump sound to your ear. Now you might be thinking, isn't this a little bit loud? People will be annoyed, right? But you can lower the volume by pressing the volume down button. And after you lower it to this degree, now you can't quite hear it anymore outside. Even in this quiet office, you can't really hear the music. Imagine if you are on the street, nobody can hear anything. But you put on the sunglasses, I am listening to some Chinese mando pop right now. Okay, let's check out the audio quality of the Mutrix sunglasses, audio sunglasses. So I've synced the sunglasses to my phone. I'm gonna play the Avengers Infinity War soundtrack. I believe the audio right now, it's at max volume on both. And yeah, it's quite loud. You can definitely hear this even outside. But I'm gonna put on the sunglasses now. Yeah, so the sunglasses on right now, it's max volume. It's really loud for me and definitely you can hear it from the outside. But if I lower the volume from the phone, now I can still hear the music in my ear, but I believe outside is a little bit more quiet. So if I'm on a train now with more ambient noise, other people should not be able to hear me. And I can also lower the volume here. Yeah, so right now I can still hear the soundtrack. Okay, so these orange frames, they look pretty cool. I'm pretty sure I have no shortage of fans, but me personally as an American dude, I like the black ones a little better. And this is the carrying pouch that comes with the package. So you get a really nice package. So now these are in the classic Ray-Ban Wayfarer style, kind of men in black, you know, like Will Smith. So if you follow gadgets, you know that this type of audio sunglasses, there are a couple of other versions out on the market right now, including one from Bose called the Bose Frames and the other one by a company named Zungo. But both of those are a little bit more expensive than what Mutrix is start, uh, charging. So the Bose Frames sells for $199 US dollars. The other one from Zungo, I believe they're like 120 130 bucks. These. They're on crowdfunding right now for $69. That's the crowdfunding price. After that, when it goes to retail, Mutrix says it'll probably jump up to maybe 89 bucks or maybe 100 bucks. But either way, it'll be cheaper than what Bose is charging. Now, the technology behind these three glasses are slightly different. The Zungo glasses uses a bone induction tech to transfer sound to your inner ear via your bone. Now, while deck technology sounds pretty cool, a lot of people say that it gives them a headache when they use it for too long. So the Mutrix sunglasses, meanwhile, do not have such futuristic technology. It just uses a traditional speaker to pump sound into my ear. I'm listening to a podcast right now, by the way. So while this tech isn't as like high tech, futuristic as bone induction tech, I actually think it's fine. I think bone induction tech has its pros and cons. And for audio sunglasses, I think a speaker that plays directly to your ear is fine as long as it doesn't bother other people. Now, another cool thing about the Mutrix sunglasses is the lens are interchangeable. So if you wear prescription sunglasses, you can take out this lens and swap it for a prescription lens and you can wear these normally as your regular glasses, not just sunglasses. So in general, I think the fit overall, it's pretty comfortable. You notice they, they look pretty close to what normal sunglasses look like. That's what I like about them. You don't look goofy wearing these. So this part right here is slightly thicker than normal, but for the most part, they look fine. I think you can wear these on the streets and people won't know you're wearing like a gadget on your head. Now, of course, since the Mutrix sunglasses connect to your smartphones, they're not just for playing music. You can activate Siri and Google Assistant with these glasses too. All you do is double tap on the power button here and you it'll trigger the digital system of your choice. So now this is very useful if you're driving. For example, you're driving with these sunglasses, you can just double tap once and ask Hey Siri, where's the nearest gas station? Or Google Assistant, can you bring me to the nearest McDonald's? I'm hungry. And then you don't have to check your phone. You can get voice commands through to you, directly to your ear. And likewise, if you are a cyclist maybe or a jogger, you can wear these out and about, listen to your music. And because it's an open ear design, you'll still hear oncoming traffic. You'll hear cars speeding behind you. So you hear cars honking at you. So these are a little bit safer than wearing full on headphones when you're at the gym or when you're cycling. And of course, I think they look pretty cool myself. Um, I'm not the best looking dude, but I'm pretty sure if I give these to my girlfriend, she'll look a lot better than them than I do. Okay, so in terms of endurance, 
Mutrix says that the battery inside the glasses will power the glasses for six hours of continuous audio playback. If you have it on standby, it should last for over a hundred hours. So you won't have to charge this too often. But if you do need to charge it, all you do is pull out this cable. It's a proprietary port. Just snap it on just like this. And after that, you can top up this glasses in maybe one hour. These are the Mutrix sunglasses and they're on crowdfunding right now for $69. I'll have the link in the description below. So stay tuned to the channel. I'm probably gonna have another video on this soon, maybe on the unboxing or the day-to-day -day usage experience. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching.